I am means empowerment. It means that I'm enough. It means that I'm capable. It means that I am unapologetically me. It's not what you were yesterday or what you don't have, but what you are today. It allows a person to identify who they are, how they're going to present in the world, and how they're going to define their dreams and ambitions. I am because I stand on some incredibly strong shoulders. I am strong, I am enough, and I am also just getting started. When I was young, I aspired to be a psychologist. I knew that I wanted to be in a field that would help people, and I thought that was the perfect opportunity to enable individuals to reach their goals. When I was young, I aspired to be an actress. In fact, my nickname is Drama. Not because I'm full of drama, but because everything is a big deal to me. That's why it's so important for me to use my voice and my platform to be the voice of the unspoken. I grew up on a small farm and I was a tomboy and I wanted to be just like my dad. But my dad didn't like to see women on tractors, so my aspiration was shot down pretty quickly. It wasn't until I got to college that I started to see other possibilities. And that's why I believe so strongly in mentoring young people. You have to have somebody help you envision what you can become. When I was growing up, I really didn't have any grand aspirations or ambitions because I was born in a very small town in Illinois. My father was a bricklayer and my mother was a homemaker raising five children. It took me a long time to finally reach my ambitions and find the career. I was inspired by my mother, but I aspired to be a woman who poured into her work with a desire to do great work and make an impact. We are definitely seeing the impact of this global pandemic on women in our workforce. And so as a company, we now are providing emergency childcare for the individuals that need that. We've also extended caregiver leave. We have extended the time allowed for parental leave. And we also extended time for bereavement leave so that individuals can take the time they need whenever um, a tragedy happens or they're mourning the death of a loved one. The women's leadership development programs are unmatched at at and What's unique about the women's programs is that they're designed with the female's experience in mind. And I attribute them largely to my growth and to my development. I'm really proud at and to endorse the UN Women's Empowerment Principles. One of those principles focuses on equality through community initiatives. And that serves through at and diversity and its corporate responsibility work. So our social good work has always lifted up underrepresented segments of society, and that includes women and girls. And we do that through supportive organizations like Girls Who Code and Black Girls Code. For aspiring young girls, my advice for them would be to really think that the sky is the limit. You can do anything you set your mind to. You're the author of your story, so don't let anyone write that ending for you. Tackle barriers head on. The barriers that others put in front of you, the barriers that you put in front of you. Young girls really need to lean in, believe in themselves, and, and take on those risks. Because through risks, you will learn about yourself, you will grow, and you, more opportunities will come your way. Let your light shine unapologetically. We, we believe, believe in, in the, the power, power of I am. I am. To learn more about AT&T, subscribe to this channel, visit the AT&T Newsroom, or watch more videos in the playlist seen here.